Well, who needs an excuse to fire up the grill? Even though it did snow last weekend, <laughs> that really shouldn't stop you from going out and flipping some shouldn't burgers. Shouldn't stop maybe. you at all. Absolutely. It definitely didn't stop our friend Gina O'Toole from the New York Beef Industry Council joining her registered dietitian, Michelle Easterly. Hello, ladies, hello. Ladies, love the aprons. Yeah. Thank you. Can we get that on your website as well? Order the aprons or those specialty aprons? <laughs> those are specialty aprons. Okay, oh, okay. that's all you right. You know, you could possibly get an apron by doing one thing. Yeah. Okay. Creating the perfect burger. Ooh. Okay. All right. This is the contest that they do every year at the new, Great New York State Fair, am I exactly. right? Exactly. It's Create the Perfect Burger Contest. We right. take 10 finalists. The finalists will get an apron as they cook their creation. It's wow. judged. And not only would they get an apron, they could win a gas grill as well as a year's supply of ground beef. Oh, well, we better start working on our recipes, huh? Yeah. All right, huh. so what do we got? You're going to show us a special recipe. I that wanna, yeah, you've I'm already gonna, created this one. But. This was created by National Cattlemen's Beef Association. It's okay. been tested three times. All the recipes that are on Beef It's What's For Dinner um, dot com mm -hmm. are triple tested. So okay. I, know, I know going into it. I'm going to do some indulgence, and then Michelle's going to talk a little nutrition and how you can indulge and then stay fat and trim. Sure, okay, right. that sounds uh, great. So what I have here is a bunch of spices, and our recipe today is the ranch rub burger. It's a ranch burger. It's my favorite. So you're not mixing it into the beef. Nope, you're not. You're, you're gonna rubbing, rubbing it, it on. on. Hence okay. the rub term. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. So we have some paprika. Uh huh. Ready? We have some thyme. Get some thyme. I have a little thyme. You have a little thyme. <laughs> we have rather. some salt. I know I had to throw that one in. You know Ted too well. <laughs> He's gonna fall for that one. Pepper. I have some onion powder and garlic powder. All right. Okay. And I have some white pepper. And some red pepper. Wow. Yeah. Mix that right so in. So we have some spice and some kick in there, as well as. Now, the rub is good because you keep the flavor of the beef kind mm -hmm. of intact, right? But Correct. then you're going to have the flavor on the outside. Exactly. And you okay. want to do that. You don't want to just completely douse you know, the meat and not taste the sure. beef. It's all about the beef. Okay. okay. All right. And Ted, if you want to turn on that grill. Sure. Griddle. Right do you know how to turn no, on? No, you better thing? do it okay. before I yeah. blow up the building. So what you do is you just kind of <laughs> sprinkle it on, just like this, uh -huh. and rub it on. No, I've also put this on steaks. Ooh. I have great success with it this too. This is great. So very it's very nice. versatile. Okay, put that right. right on. And then we're going to put that right. Now there. you were discussing. You want to make sure that there. Or th is this a Michelle question? That they're cooked to how many degrees? 160 degrees. Even if somebody says I need a rare burger, you you should not give them a real rare burger. No. Well, to be completely safe of all food foodborne illnesses mm -hmm. and any bacteria and whatnot, it's um, safe and savory at 160 degrees. Safe, safe and, and savory. savory at 160. Yeah. And okay. there is a website, safeandsavory.com, and you know, and you can also go to our website and get the link for it as well. Okay. But that's really important because 160 is what it needs to be. Okay. Right. So and, and you have a, a thermometer which will really help. Anything right. Anything from steaks to burgers because and all that. Because May is Beef Month and it's the beginning of grilling season sure. and everything. Happy so. Beef Month. I would have gotten you. it. Yeah. I wish I it's about steaks and burgers. <laughs> you know, while we're um, cooking this up, let's talk to Michelle, though. Now, you have three different beef grades here. What do we call that? Actually, it's three different um, percentages of fat in the beef. Okay. Sometimes a meat case can look like a red blur sure. if you're going up and going shopping. So I right. thought the best way to go over ground beef is to look at what's available at the grocery store. We have 73% lean ground beef, 85% mm -hmm. uh, lean ground beef, and 95%. That means lean the other percentage beef. is fat? Yes. Correct. Or what I like to call flavor. <laughs> no, not I call that the flavor. Not necessarily true. Now, okay. you cooked them all not up and necessarily they, don't, true. they don't look that different, do they? Can you nope. tell the difference? Um, nope. Actually, the 73, you're going to have less yield than the 95. So you're going right. to have more fat that's going to cook off. Okay. Um, so you're getting more for your money when you're buying the 95% lean ground beef because Plus you have more meat than fat. Okay. And it is healthier. You have in a three ounce um, portion, 150 calories and about six grams of fat. Okay. So that's very, very lean and part of a healthy, heart healthy diet. So people who say, oh, no, 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 I'm dieting. I can't have a burger. That's, that's not necessarily not true. the case. Get the of course. There's lean. so many options out there to, um, to be part of a heart healthy diet. Okay. Well, right. great. Definitely. Well, getting back to our ranch rub. All right. So once we've cooked up the burger, where's the ranch come in? Is that like you well, use that as a, a condiment? condiment? Oh, yeah, it's a condiment. We use our ranch dressing. So here in our little, you know, beauty shot here, nice. we have our lettuce, tomato, and we put the ranch dressing on top, and then we add some 
crunch. Oh, oh my crunch. word. Very, very nice. Is that a wheat bun you're using? Yes, we're using a whole wheat roll. <laughs> so then that's a really healthy uh, little... It definitely is. Pretty burger. much. I mean, you get a little flavor of the ranch, and you get a little bit of the crunch with the onion, like a toasted onion, and very voila. Nice. Well, ladies, and we even thank you very grain. much. Look at you. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Guess we'll be how many over later, actually, Ted. How, how many we, in the burger? 300. We right. love Michelle and Jean because, take three. because they <laughs> cook enough for the entire crew every time That's they right. That's right. Well, happy Beef Month, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. And if you can want... If you want to, you can find these recipes and more, plus news on the upcoming beef contest at the New York State Fair, all in one place, nybeef.org. Well, that's it for us. My goodness, we're already done tonight on WCNY Connected. Hey, we want to hear from you. Send us an email at WCNY Connected at WCNY.org with any questions, comments, events you want to share. And don't forget to check out our exclusive YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. There you can watch more from our favorite guests and music, music artists 24-7. Go to YouTube.com slash WCNY. Connected. All right, coming up on the next WCMY Connected Jam Packed Show on Thursday, indie rock band Scarlet Ending Ooh. Stops by. They're going to perform from their new album, Ghost. Plus, we'll talk to the experts at Bartlett about ways you can keep your trees staying healthy year after year. And the one and only Gordon from Sesame Street. He's coming to town. We're going to talk with him about his two upcoming shows and how you can get tickets. WCNY has got you connected. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Check out WCNY Connected with us, Ted and Amy. Thursday nights at 9 on WCNY.